could we could uh, manage our turnovers and uh, we could rebound the ball against them, we'd, we'd have a chance to win. We've got so much respect for Marshall's program, their system, their style of play. They are a challenge to, to defend. Uh, they're quirky defensively. They get you off balance. They're physical. They're tough. And uh, you look at their record. They they've had several games like everyone in our league that go down to the wire, and it's one play here or there. And they're one of the top teams in the league. So obviously a very very good win uh, for our program. Well, Majawa in the start today was that just a matchup thing or something we could see more of moving forward? In all honesty, we we started Mike last game, and uh, Mike deserves to play. Uh, starter minutes and he does that almost every single night and he he said today that he's a little more comfortable coming off the bench so we thought against a bigger Marshall and we wanted to try to get Majau in the flow too. Majau, uh, he, uh, we thought he deserved a few more minutes Thursday and with us starting really doesn't matter. It's uh, it, it's, it's who's playing well that night, who closes. I think Zetchevitz probably played as many minutes as Schiller tonight, played one more minute and we couldn't get Zetch enough minutes. He was, he was phenomenal. Um, along with 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 Rich and, and Ji, obviously with a double with a huge double double. Scoot was efficient, uh, 17, five rebounds, and they when they went on the run, uh, Big Bennett was was controlling the paint on the glass, and we were battling them, but we were in a little bit of rotations, and 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 it got to a point where our guards started coming down and getting real rebounds, and Jalen Ingram started mixing it up, and by getting those rebounds, we were able to get out and get some baskets in transition, which really helped. You mentioned uh, you mentioned Bennett down low, and it won't show up on the stat sheet. But I think uh, Carlos Schillens did a great job defending him in the first half, and then obviously he had foul trouble, so he didn't play that much in the second half. Can you describe his effort and what you maybe told him of how to defend him because he was basically taken out of the game in the first half? Well, we, we brought a double team, a few possessions, which I think but, but Carlos forced his catches off the block. He was physical with him. He tried to outrun him every single possession, and big guys that that has a, a, a it, it takes a toll when you have two big guys splitting minutes that are just sprinting up and down the floor as fast as they can. With, I thought we wore him out a little bit. We put him in a lot of ball screens. Um, but he, he's a good player, and when he scores, they typically win. So we knew we had to do a good job on that. And going into the game, that was one of the, he was one of the focal points. Obviously, we know how good West and Kenzie and Taylor, those guys present so many challenges. But Bennett is a, is a big part of what they do, getting the defense sucked in and uh, kicking out for threes and driving lanes and things like that. Well, Mike Forrest was really aggressive, especially cutting the basket, uh, 13 points. How important is his energy to the team? Well, Mike, um, if we had practice right now, he would have great energy, great intensity, and, and, and he would be working as hard as anyone at the gym, just like he does every night. He spent a lot of time working on his finishing, and it paid dividends tonight. He had some really tough, creative finishes, and that hasn't always been the case with Mike. He shot the ball well, he's competed, but finishing at the rim has been something that he spent a lot of time working on it because he hadn't done it well up to this point. Obviously, you're not finishing against a lot of seven footers and 6'10", 6'11", in high school, so it's an adjustment for most college kids. And Mike has spent time working on it. The staff's done a great job with him. And uh, we really like the growth of Michael Forrest. He's, he's, he seems like a fifth year senior, and he's a, he's a sophomore halfway through his, his second year. Zesevich had an efficient night with 12 points and eight rebounds. What did you see from him? More importantly uh, than his stats, and his stats are incredible, 12, 8, and 5 in 20 minutes. Don't think he could have played much better. He had one or two balls rim out that he, those drop pieces. But more importantly, he handled their pressure. They had us sped up a little bit in, in the first half, and they were pushing us to where they wanted us to go. And we are able to use Alex as a pressure release in his decision-making, his passing. It seemed like every big run during the game was either a pass or a score by Alex, and they were all at pivotal times. We felt like uh, Jalen Ingram dropped 16 points and 12 rebounds. How how has bit getting him back from that injury last season been for the team? People don't realize you you miss a year of basketball. What it does to your timing, your rhythm, your confidence, all those things. And we 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 know we knew it's coming because we saw it last year in games and we saw it in practice. Jalen dominated the, the, the glass and, and that's what we've, we've really challenged him to do and he's capable of doing every single night. He just presents so many challenges and we used him as a point guard against the press. When you have a, a guy you can play as your point guard, you, have, you can play him as your five man and he can defend both of those positions, then you're able to, to do some different things offensively against a, a, a team like Marshall that they throw, they throw some different looks at you. Earlier in the season, uh, you were quoted in saying that FAU needs to have that killer instinct because when they're up by double-digit lead at the half, they need to close out a team, don't let them go on a crazy run to get back in the game and make it scary. This game, I think, 
the owls did a great job of doing that and letting no breathing room. And when they cut it to five on two separate times, there was almost a shot clock violation by Marshall because of the defense and just tremendous backcourt play on the perimeter. How refreshing was it to see that when they had the momentum that FAU kind of took off and, and really made it just improbable for them to get back in the game? I thought we were getting great looks when they cut it to five and the ball just wasn't dropping. So we knew we had to get it back on the defensive end. And if we could get some stops, we'd be able to push out and score in transition. And uh, it, it came down to defense. And, and, and that's one thing we struggled with this year. We played really well in spurts, even early in the season. Even at Miami and Alabama, we played really well in spurts. But we just we, we haven't been able to put a, a good 40 minutes or even a good 32 or 36 minutes. And it, it seems like now our guys are starting to grow. They're starting to enjoy playing with each other. They're starting to have a better feel for when you cut or you space or you know all the things that you get by playing with people and having experience. And, and hopefully that's what we get us in continuity in our program and guys grow together and, and they're used to playing with each other. And, and it's just, it's reps and, and trust and, and, and all, those, all those things. Uh, but we're really happy with the way our guys are playing with each other and trusting each other. Team shot 65% from the